Welcome to another new episode of Cool Sight. We live in a four bedroom house situated at Trivandrum, the capital of Kerala. Let us look into the electricity bills which you have paid during the past one year. We have obtained it from the KSCB's uh, online website and we have an option to, uh, to see the bills which we have paid during the past one year. The bills we have paid is in February it was 5,657 5, rupees, in April it was 7,627 rupees, in June it was 6,308 rupees. We, as I told, uh, the, it is a four bedroom house and the top two bedrooms are having AC and sometimes we use AC in these rooms during the summer time. And you can see the bills after August. In August it was only 191 rupees. In September it is 200. In October it is 205. And in uh, November it is 200 rupees. December it is 205. And in this 2015 January it is only 233 rupees. The central government is currently promoting the use of solar power. And due to this, lot of factories, etc. are using solar power. Also, many houses in different locations of India are also equipped with solar power these days. In Kerala, the Cochin International Airport is fully working on solar power. The advantage of using the solar power is that you are uh, saving the environment and also uh, you are uh, saving high on your electric bills. Only thing which we we need to have is a place where we can install the solar uh, panels and it should be uh, should there should not be any shade so that you, sh you should get the solar power during the full full day time whatever might be the type of uh, roof you have for your house we are there we are able to put the solar panels there even if it is a sloping roof or if it is a flat roof or any other type of roof the, the, uh, they will fabricate the frames, they will fabricate the channels based on that and they will fix the solar panels for you. We ha I have shown you different pictures of how it was installed in different locations in Kerala. And uh, we have most in Kerala, most of the houses are having sloping roof. Once you decide to go for a solar plant, First thing you have to do is that you have to roam around and see whether anybody have installed in this in your area and just talk to them and see how much they have paid and how is the efficiency and other things. Then you have to go through or go to some suppliers who provide this facility and to take the quotation from them. I have taken quotation from five agencies and the Luminous has quoted me 1,92,000 and also have taken from some other agencies also. So then you can compare it and uh, then you can take a decision how to whether to install or not. There are many agents. The easiest way is to go through the you go through internet and search the installers in your locality and you can uh, get it get the details. And you can just uh, send a message and they will give you a quote. This is another agency which is providing this uh, providing the uh, solar panel facility. And this high guy has quoted me more that is around 2,31,000. There are many panels available in the market like Adani, Wari, Vikram, Luminous, etc. And you can choose based on your budget and also as per your requirement. So here I have chosen uh, Luminous because Luminous is a popular brand. And the advantage with Luminous is that they have got their own panel and also they have their own inverter system. And this is what I have installed in on my roof. It, there, we have installed a 3 kilowatt plant which is having 3 plus 3, 6 panels. They have uh, fitted in two, two channels that is uh, one, uh, 3 each. And uh, uh, if you are going for a 5 kilowatt plant then they will be installing 10 panels. In my, uh, for their convenience they have put it at 3 plus 3. You can go to the website and you can uh, look for PM Surya Khar. When you just uh, Google it, you will get this website. And you can uh, go to this website and see the details. If when you are new to this uh, website, as like any other website, you have to do a registration with your mobile number and you have to upload your uh, recent electricity bill. 
and you have to give details of your location and other things in this website. Once you are registered, then you can uh, log in using the login features. You can see there are two tabs shown here. One is for login and one is for uh, registration. Once you are registered, then you can uh, log in and you can look at the details. All the details regarding this uh, installation will be coming in this panel because we are, uh, uh, we are opting for subsidy. So the first thing you have to do is that you have to go to your local electricity board and then you have to give an application for a feasibility study. Before that, you have to register in this website and then you, in, I have done it in Kerala. So the KSCB is the provider for us and I have gone to the KSCB office with the supplier and there are some forms to be filled up and we have paid 1,180 rupees. And all the procedures will come in this website directly when you can see there are yellow boxes showing with a green tick. These are the uh, each stage which they are showing. When you complete each stage, the, the box will have a tick. Also on the left side panel, you can see there are some ticks here. These are all the procedures which I have completed. And you do not have to worry. Once you select a supplier, they will do all these uh, procedures. Only you have to sign. You have to make an agreement with the local electricity board. And it depends on state to state. And uh, it depends on uh, what, uh, where you are living. I am talking what I have done and I am explaining what I have done in Kerala. So this after this, once it is approved, then you have to pay 3,540 rupees for the installing the, uh, you have, after the installation, you have for commissioning, you have to pay that. And when I have applied for uh, the energy meter, the energy meter was not available because my house is having a three-phase connection. So they have asked me to purchase my own energy meter and I have paid 8,500 rupees for that. You can see at this stage I have, this is uh, almost the finishing stage I have shown in the video. Where I have got the ticks everywhere and even my subsidy is already allotted. The subsidy which the central government is giving is 7, 78,000 rupees. Here you can see the certificate telling that I have been allotted 78,000 rupees. It has come to my bank account and... Uh, so when since the amount is coming directly to our bank account, whatever the cost we incur has to be paid directly to the uh, the provider, and then they will give us uh, the subsidy will come in our pocket. This is what I have installed in my uh, my house. It is installed at a parapet level. That means one side it is one meter high, and the panel which you have, I have used is a luminous one, luminous mono perk half cut panel. And there are many other panels available. And there is a new panel which is having a by by it is called a bifacial panel, which is having even the cells on the bottom side also. And the light which is reflecting will come up. You can see this was a truss which was made for installing the panel. It's a very simple one. It is one side is at parapet level and one side is at one meter high. Suppose you are inst if you are installing it for on a there are another option to raise it and you can keep uh, the, the below space free. So it will be at a 10 feet height. So in this case, you have to install a ladder and also the cleaning will be slightly difficult so that uh, someone has to climb up and have to clean it. If it is at parapet level, it is easy for uh, cleaning and other purpose. But uh, the, the portion below the parapet will be, will not, cannot be used. So it will be a waste also. So they have installed directly on the rooftop with some uh, pedestals uh, concreted and all such things. Now we will see after the installation there are two pipes coming down. These small white pipes are taking the, the cables to the ground floor, means to the ground. And uh, you can see this cable is going to the, these cables are, uh, portion of it is going to our energy meter which was uh, provided by the Kerala State Electricity Board. And there is another meter provided by the uh, by the supplier, and it is and another two wires are going to the uh, our inverter. You can see the inverter here; it is also having two L ELCBs below. So they, they, from this box, there are two cables going down, which is uh, for earthing. There are three earthings provided for this uh, installation. Two are directly coming from here. You can see the pipe and the other one is, is, is going from here. You can see there is one pipe going down here and it has all gone to the, uh, it was for the earthing. There are three earthings to be provided. This is our luminous uh, inverter. 
this is a 3 kilowatt inverter and uh, luminous is also the supplier of inverter so they have their own inverter you can see it and uh, it is shown luminous and other things so if you are buying from any other supplier they will have their own inverter or they will be providing some inverter from reputed brands and as you see there uh, this is the energy meter given by the uh, by luminous means uh, this is just for our uh, rechecking our energy meter this is the energy meter given by the KSCB, which is the provider kerala state electricity board this is having an incoming and outgoing reading facility so whatever power we are giving to the grid will be shown here and whatever we are using also will be shown in the same energy meter. We have purchased this meter and it costed us around 8500 rupees. This is a three phase connection and it was not readily available in the uh, with KSCB. So the, once the in Kerala uh, normally electric energy is taken once in two months the bill will come once in two months. But once you install this uh, uh, this power, uh, this solar power, it will be coming once in a month. This is the luminous app which has given, uh, which will be installed in our uh, mobile. And when you press, once you press on this, you can get the details, the current meter readings and other things. And uh, it will show the daily energy production. So here you can see it is 8.4 that is a, I am show, uh, just going showing you the app it will show the energy reading reading that is 1527 which is this month okay and uh, we have that is the that is the total energy in 2024 and also the highest production was 384 like that the every daily production you can see here it is in 2024 production and if you want to see in 2025 when this video is taken the uh, my monthly monthly production was 358 you can see it's only one month production it is only in january and you you can see it it is january 2025 so if you want to cross check we can go for the last month that is in december december 2024 we can see the reading here it is 347 you can see the daily production in the bar chart also you can see the highest production was 14.5 and the average production was 11.2 so the installer normally they give uh, <coughs> approximately they they ensure that our annual average production will be per day it will be 12 kilowatt that is 12 units of electricity these are the details of the <coughs> inverter which we have installed it is uh, and you can if you are if you are a technical guy you can go through these details and you can check this one also they will also provide you a guarantee for 10 years and uh, normally this won't invite much uh, uh, it will not invite much maintenance and other things. there won't be much repairs and all, all things so now we'll go we can see they are also given me the the all the brochures and other things related to this installation and whoever will be installing they will be providing all these details and they have to get it all uh, endorsed by the state electricity board and uh, maybe you know, if you are uh, when you if you are living in some other state the procedure may be slightly different and uh, don't have to worry the installer will take care of everything and now we'll see a recent bill which has come from the Kerala State Electricity Board. You can see that the production is 381 units and the consumption is only 284 units. That means you have a saving in this month. You have not fully utilized what you have produced. Uh, the bill is only 233 rupees and this is the latest bill which is a monthly bill now you can get you will get the money for that also how much we have spent on this the installation was 192000 and for the feasibility study we have paid 1180 rupees and the commissioning charge was 3540 so totally we have paid 196720 rupees there is a subsidy of 78000 so the net expense for me was only 118000 rupees so if you are able ready to spend that much money you will be saving very high on your electricity bills i suggest your if electricity bills are very high you should definitely go for it thank you very much for watching the video if you know the procedure for solar installation in your state please add 
the details in the comment box below. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe.